kind of wish I could do paint sprites of trains. Well, you're gonna find out, Finny boy! Be well, because I'm way too lazy to actually make a custom sprite, you know, like custom sprite that actually requires work, instead, this tutorial is gonna be really lazy. So first, get your base. All right. If you want to find out who who gives off these stuff, the core um, at the upper right corner of the tab of this tab, you're gonna find the user who makes these kind of sprites. So after that, scroll down to the one you want. And save the image. But also, but, but, but first, you, but you gotta name it first. So just like name it something like this. Well, well, like something you could easily find it pow, somehow, or something like that, I don't know. And save it. Alright, that's great, you finally saved the image. And now, you have to go to MS Paint. Like the one you see on screen right now. Right. After that, you have to go to click file. You no, know, this thing right here. Click on it. After that, click this. Click this. And you will get this thing up here. So remember when I said, like, um, change it to something you want? Well, um, click this. And open it. And it's gonna be on your paint. Like, um, it's gonna appear right around, um... Oh. That was quick. Alright then, buddy, you finally got the image. And now, it's time to, you know, paint it. To your, any, any color you want. By the way, it, it just, for the color you want, it just depends on you. But for demonstration reasons, I'm gonna make it a uh, blue-gray. And to speed up time, I'm gonna use this paint thing. Paint can. Alright, speed run. Three, two, one, go! Wait, here's a tip for you. Uh, for the more harder, um, like the harder parts to reach, like on um, the big lining around here, or any smaller bits, use the pencil icon. And if you like finally fill in everything, you like I'm um, start to trace it, you know. Well, like trace the black part, well, like, trace the decidedly darker part. Gray parts so like what I'm doing, what like what I'm demonstrating right now. You know, this, this thing. Ow. Uh, anyways, yeah. And um, if you have a very um slippery hand, um, it's okay because you can like paint over your your mistakes. But yeah, this is just a random tip. Um, I need to show you just in case if you're being very confused about like what's going on. Finally, finish your engine. Or like coloring your engine. And by the way, Railway Specialist, I'm aware that there is no Great West, Blue Great Western engine. I don't give a go kart that there is that it's a Blue Great Western engine. This is just a tutorial, okay? Anyways, um, so basically, um, right after that, to, to make the face, you could kind of find out your, I what I can't really do it right now on this engine, as it's some um, kind of complex right now. But basically, um, if you don't mind of the face. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just, you can just save the image already. Up here, the save button is right up here. And you gotta click it multiple times, or just like once or twice, but like I recommend doing it multiple times. Then exit out of paint, and be proud of the work you just made. If you don't believe me, here's some satisfied customers. I hate it. Oh. Yeah, if you hate it, don't follow for the tutorial. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm sorry if this Christmas video seems very rushed. Um, I'm so sincerely sorry. Um, I can clearly do better than this. Um, but, cer but certainly, like, um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I'm just really sorry for this. If you if you hate it or anything, or if you want to accept something a bit more than that, I just wanted a fun little video. I don't want anything complex and garbage like that. And yeah. Anyways, Merry Christmas and ha and have a happy new year. Goodbye.